Welcome to the book of Mathematics Plus. Today we're going to talk about word processing, writing story problems. Have you ever wanted to be a writer for a newspaper or a magazine? One way that writers start their work is by making a story outline. In the outline, they add details and make changes. Making an outline can be difficult if a writer has to do a lot of changing and erasing. Starting over on many sheets of paper is also wasteful. Computers make changing things easier and faster. At the computer, imagine that you are writing story problems for a math book. Type your story outline using your word processor. Save your work on a desk. This is an example of a story outline. Describe outlines in the word problems in your math book. How can the same outline be used for many problems? What can you change in the outline to make the result different? Type the example outline in your word processor. Learn to copy the words of your word problem outline into three different documents. Revise each document to create a new problem. Be creative. Change the names. Make up a story. Solve the problems. Spreadsheet math. A spreadsheet is a computer program that helps people organize information. A spreadsheet can also add and subtract like a calculator. Below is an example of a spreadsheet. It was used to organize the numbers of animals in a zoo. The boxes where you type the information are called cells. These cells are lined up in rows and columns. You can type a word, a number, or a formula in a cell. A formula tells the computer to perform a task. Each cell has an address. It is a lot like a home address. Your home address is made up of numbers and letters that describe where you live. The address of a cell also has a letter and a number. It tells you in the computer where the information lives. For example, your address might be 12 Oak Street. Other people live on Oak Street, but only you live at 12 Oak Street. The word elephants lives in cell A3. The letter A at the top tells you that the word elephants lives in column A. The number 3 at the left tells you that it lives in row 3. Other information can live in column A or in row 3, but only the word elephants lives in column A in row 3. At the computer, after you learn to use your spreadsheet program, type the zoo spreadsheet. What are the addresses of these words and numbers? For example, the address for seals is A5. Animals is at cell A2. Total is at cell A8. 20 is at cell B4. 8 is at cell B3. Monkeys is at cell A4. 15 is at cell B5. What lives in the cell with these addresses? For example, cell B8 has the number 60. Cell B3 has 8. Cell A1 has nothing. Cell B5 has 15. Cell A4 has monkeys. Cell C3 has nothing. Cell D4 has nothing. Investigate. Get together with two or three people. Count how many pencils, erasers, books, and notebooks you have all together. 
Write the information on a sheet of paper. Make a spreadsheet like the one below. Give the address of each word and number. Well, that would take a lot of work, but I done so at the right of this picture. Spreadsheet formulas. Have you you have learned that spreadsheet programs are a great way to organize information? They can also be used as calculators. You can type a formula in any of the cells. The formula can tell the computer to add or subtract the numbers in any row or column of cells. For example, Mary and Joe would like to answer these questions and organize the information in a spreadsheet. How many students are there in each grade? How many girls are there in the school? How many boys are there in the school? How many students are there in the school? Well, to know how many students are in each grade, we add the numbers of boys and girls. So, grade 1 has 51 students. Grade 2 has 68 students. Grade 3 has 69 students. Grade 4 has 44 students. And grade 5 has 40 students. There were a total of 133 girls in the school and 139 boys in the school. Altogether, there were 272 students in the school. After gathering their information on paper, Mary and Joe typed and organized it in this spreadsheet. Mary and Joe have decided to let the spreadsheet calculate all the addition problems First, they type this formula in cell B4, B2 plus B3. This formula tells the computer to see what numbers lives in cells B2 and B3. Then it tells the computer to add the numbers and put the answer in cell B4, where the formula lives. Both the formula and the answer can live in the same cell just as you can live at the same address as your family. At the computer, type Mary and Joe's spreadsheet. Also, type these formulas, which will tell the computer to add the numbers in the cells. Answer Mary and Joe's questions at the beginning of this lesson. If Mary is a fourth grader, how many girls are in her school? grade. Well, we go to fourth grade. Girls is 25. How many boys are in the fifth grade? Well, it was fifth grade. Boys is 23. What is the address for the cell that has the formula E2 plus E3? The answer is E4. And what is the address for the number 40, D2? What lives in cell C4, C2 plus C3? C2. After Mary and Joe typed the spreadsheet, they realized that they had not counted students who were absent if they add to the spreadsheet the students who were absent what will happen to the totals increase if the numbers change do the formulas also change no why is a spreadsheet better than a calculator